take a, take some pictures. That what is the doctor? I've done. Have you seen those paintings? Oh. So can you make by my my mood? <laughs> right. <laughs> also, when Krishna is checking gopis in Gopardhan or Barsana, first pay tall tax. Then, what is the mood of gopis? Oh, two pictures. Do you want to talk about it in detail in India when we're in India and then I'll start yes, there? Yes, in India. You should complete first from here. First book. Gita Govinda. Yeah. First and then. Okay. But appreciate very broadly like you are doing. And also giving the answers to so many they are arising questions about so many things. But what is your question? Last night you were defining a Sangha Siddha Bhakti. On one hand you said that when a pure devotee exhibits the qualities of tolerance, mercy, then that's Sangha Siddha Bhakti. You should always think, always not down. Everything depends on the mood and the great creation of the devotees, what they are thinking and how they are taking. What is Sangha Siddha? For Nitya Siddha, it may be serving Prem, not Sangha Siddha. And what is for gopis there? It may be for Kanisha and Madhyam that this is Samusha. <laughs> so there are different meanings of Sangha Sid Siddha yes. according to the context. Yes. Because you also said if Sangha Siddha are thousand meanings. No, thousand levels. Levels. Sangha Siddha okay. means how? If you are mixing with a Kanisht Vaishnava, a Madhyam Adhikari, Madhyam Uttam, Uttam, Uttam Kanisht, Uttam Madhyam, Uttam Mahabhagavatam, then result will not be the same. Sangha Siddha. It depends on you that how you are taking all this. Nivartta Tarsai Upagiyamana Vausadhar Sotimano Virama. In this Council of Parikshit Maharaj, Sukhdev was telling and he made all bhakta, even Mayabadi and all others, Karmi, Gyan, all became. We cannot do. So his Sangha Siddha of different today? Um, Picture to Sri Rupa Manjari Kadarchit Parapadma, the Virgin Shloka. Thank you. Guru Maharaj, I want to ask uh, something about um, dealing with material desires because it is said that uh, to become eligible for bhakti, one has to give up all material desires. But at the same time, renouncing artificially. Uh, I have heard the heart becomes hardened and even people can become uh, mad for sense gratification, renouncing <coughs> artificially. Just How to deal? Bhakti, in order to qualify oneself yes. to practice bhakti, one has to give up all material desires. Then, that it seems that if we give up the material desires, then our heart may become very hard and then even we become more frustrated and again we sink into the no. material attachment. You should give up worldly desires to bring the service of Krishna. So that is more sweet, more millions of times. And if it will come, oh, all worldly desires will go forever. 
even to desire serve Vaishnava is there coming. Oh, you are very fault. They will never come. If they are empty, then worldly desire again come. But if that is filled with transcendental anything service, then there is no place that they will return. Understand something? <coughs> but our lack of association is always taking that uh, taking that transcendental desire. <coughs> when it has come... Oh Krishna, when you will be merciful to me? When I will serve any devotee? This, oh, I want to do parikrama of Govardhan, that he should be merciful to me. Like so many desires. But if you keep empty and give him a worldly desire, again they will. 